Hello! Today we're going to be going over the delegate feature in Coupa. So you may be asking yourself, what is the delegate feature? It's actually a really neat tool in Coupa where if I'm going to be out of the office, unavailable, on vacation, potentially out on, for a couple months just chilling in the Bahamas, I can actually go into Coupa and assign someone to be able to receive and or approve the orders that would typically come to me. So how I would accomplish this is by going to my name and then it will give me the drop down. I am going to select settings. I'm going to select delegates. And here is where I will be able to add, remove, and edit any of the delegate features. I can see here I have two options for notifications, one of which if I don't want to receive the notifications for what needs to be approved while I'm out because I know someone else is taking care of it, I can actually leave this selected and Coupa will turn those off to me during the timeline that I've selected. If I still want to get those notifications, I can unselect this option and it will continue to send me notifications regardless of the delegates I have set. The second one is notify me whenever a delegate approves something for me. So maybe I'm out on vacation and I just want a record of what's being approved on my behalf when I'm out. You would leave this checked. If you don't need to see that information, you would uncheck this and then the system will still hold that information. It can always be looked at. It does record that your delegate did approve on your behalf. So there's always a trail of who's doing it and when but these are just a matter of sending you specific notifications about the documents during the timeline that you've selected. So once I've determined what my notification should be, I'm going to create my delegate. I select the create button, and then I basically have to fill out all four sections as required information and say, I want someone to be my delegate. Now, I always err on the side of caution, and I always select either a peer of mine, another regional director in my case, or my boss is a good one. So you want to select someone with the same title or above to ensure that they have the same approval authority that you do. So in this case, I'm going to just type my boss's name. They have to be a Coupa user, so I'm going to select. And then by selecting, Coupa has kind of a made a record that this is the person. The start date and end date. So notice I can select way in the future. So if I'm going to take a week off in April, I can even in January come and set my time and say out of office on PTO. Now this little note will go to your delegate. So please be aware of what you're typing here. It's not just for you. And then the last thing I have to decide if they're gonna be my approval delegate or my receiving delegate, or one or the other. In this case, since Drew and I sit in different areas, different properties potentially, different time zones, um, I may not want him to do my receiving for me because he's not going to be able to confirm that the warehouse just brought me something. So in this case, I'm just going to say Drew is only going to be the person who approves things that will come to me like invoices and requisitions. I'm actually going to come back after I've submitted this and I'm going to create a second delegate just for receiving. Now receiving does not need to be a, a person with the same or higher approval authority because they're just going to be confirming physical receipt of an item or receipt of a service. So it can be someone who experiences the same day-to-day -day life as me, someone who sits in the same office as me and can physically verify some of the same things as me. So I'm going to select someone in my office. I'm going to select the same dates because those are the dates I'm going to be on vacation and say, please receive for my PTO. And then she'll also get a notification that I'm asking her to be my delegate. So like we said, you can send them and set them up way in advance. So if I potentially change these dates, I can always come back to my name, come back to settings, come back to delegates, hit the edit button, and I can change the dates and say, well, you know what, my boss is super awesome and he's gonna give me a month and a half off. 
and I'm going to save that and then it's going to record that and it's going to set up this delegate. So starting on April 19th, Drew is going to start to get emails for invoices and requisitions that I need to approve and Brittany is going to be able to receive my purchase orders for me. Now, if I cancel my vacation for some reason, I can always come in here and just delete both of these delegates and reset at a later date. So that is how I access, set, and edit my delegates. Hopefully this has helped. Thank you.